want to talk to you today about the disgusting habits of Satan's servants. Um, in my many years of research, I've come across something so very foul and so very disgusting. And I just kind of listen to it and I go, Ugh, you know, and I just think maybe it's just an exaggeration or whatever. You know, I make excuses for it because I can't fathom it in my mind. But I'm going to show you today something and I'm going to be very carefully careful how I present this because children watch my videos and things and I, I don't want to defile the minds of children. So I'm going to speak in somewhat coded language, but if you are an adult, you understand what I'm saying here. Um, <clears throat> but first we're going to turn to the Bible. And this is a big part of the purpose of this study. There are things about the scriptures that you might look at and you might say, okay, I don't understand why that would be written in there. What's the purpose of this? I'm going to show you that your King James Bible is not archaic, that it's actually very much up to date and very much, oh, uh, the writer of the King James Bible, the Holy Spirit, is very much aware of what the wicked people out there that serve Satan do. And if you understand the Bible and you believe the Bible as it's written, even the bad parts and the gross parts, you know, you'll realize um, actually the Bible is very much up to date. It's not archaic. Second Kings chapter 18. Back to the Old Testament, the book of 2 Kings, chapter 18. This is the kind of thing that uh, the hirelings out there, they just kind of avoid this. This is very, um, very gross and just kind of, ew, yucky, ew. You know, let's not talk about this. It doesn't help our church to grow. And you can't get that 10% tithe, that coveted 10% tithe, you know, uh, if you preach on this kind of thing. I'm not worried about your 10% tithe, if you haven't figured that out already. 2 Kings chapter 18, beginning in verse 26. Then said Eliakim the son of Hilkiah, and Shebna and Joah unto Rabshakeh, Speak, I pray thee, to thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it, and talk not with us in the Jews' language in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rabshakeh said unto them, Hath my master sent me to thy master and to thee to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the men which sit on the wall? Now here we go. That they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you. Oh, the King James Bible has a profane word in it. Piss. Oh, no. Um, no, actually, that's the right word for urinate or peeing or something like that. Um... Oh, it's archaic. It's just an archaic word. Oh, it's not archaic. And eating dung and drinking piss there, according to the Bible, um, that's the thing I've seen among elite circles. So, what? Mm -hmm. I've seen it. And it's been very disturbing to me, and I think, Ugh. And, but I see it in this category, and I see it in this category, and I see it over there, and I start to think, wait a second. <laughs> I don't think that this is some kind of a book, a book of fairy tales. People don't do this stuff anymore. Uh, no, actually, it's still being done today. I'm going to show you proof here in a little bit. Isaiah chapter 36. Go to Isaiah towards the New Testament. Isaiah 36. It's hard to believe. You know, you just think, why would you do that? Because that's very high-level perversion. Isaiah 36, verse 11 through 12. Here we have another account of this situation. Then said Eliakim and Shebna and Joah unto Rabshika, Speak, I pray thee, unto thy servants in the Syrian language, for we understand it. And speak not to us in the Jews' language, in the ears of the people that are on the wall. But Rabshakeh said, Hath my master sent me to thy master, and to thee to speak these words? Hath he not sent me to the men that sit upon the wall, that they may eat their own dung and drink their own piss with you? All right, again, you see this thing. It's repeated. It's the same story, but it's repeated two times in your King James Bible. So why would it say that? I mean, I just, you know, whatever. Because the King James Bible tells you about the depravity of man. That's why. It says this is how bad men are. And you say, well, that's just back then. They didn't understand things or whatever. Um, no. 
And I'm going to play a video for you right now of a professional wrestler. His stage name was Sabu. I remember this guy back. I was a hardcore wrestling fan, you know, WWF early on. And then I actually would go to the different arenas and things and see Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant and Hacksaw Jim Duggan and all the old time guys. Uh, what was the Georgie Animal Steel and things I think his name was. You know, the Missing Link and things like that way back. And then, you know, um, a buddy of mine, he was into the ECW thing and um, Extreme Circuit Wrestling, I think is what ECW stood for. And then the WWF became the WWE because, World's, because World Wildlife Fund said, you know, you can't say WWF because we were before you and uh, all that stuff. But the, I looked, I used to watch all these different wrestling things, but the ECW, this Sabu guy was in there and he'd come out dressed like he was some Arabian prince or whatever. And the guy was just nuts. Just crazy doing these moon salts and flipping backwards onto people laying on a table down on the concrete and you know guys crazy and i was doing the research for the connections between donald trump and vince mcmahon and sabu came out and was telling some rather interesting things about it and i'm not recommending the videos because there's a lot of profanity and things and some really uh, hardcore extreme stuff but i'm going to play this i'm going to have to edit it because he doesn't say dung he says the s word and i don't really need to subject my viewers to that but i will leave the piss word in and um he's speaking in this video clip coming up if you want to mute it or or you know you don't want your children to hear it or something okay because it's pretty foul but he's talking about how that there are one of the wrestling organizations he was with they would literally do pornographic uh, video type of stuff where the wrestlers would literally be eating each other's dung and drinking the urine okay um and so the king james bible is not archaic it's actually describing how these people do it here's the video clip yeah it was ron black he ran the shows at an xpw extreme pro wrestling it wasn't that sentimental for me it was just another show you know i wrestle somewhere every week i I can't get that sentimental for uh, every one of them, you know. It was uh, just another indie show. It was just yeah. another indie show. But it was a good one. It was pretty good. You know, they had TV, a territory sort of, you know, California territory. And uh, and they ran all the time. You know, it ran every week. So it was pretty cool. Was it crazy backstage? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you had a bunch but of Not backstage. Stars, but... It's crazy at the office because they have the ring here and the porn and the porn uh, studio here and, and the office in the, in, be, in the desk in between. So if you come to wrestle, you pass through the porn part. If you come into the porn, you pass through the wrestling part. Like it was intertwined. And we were when we weren't there practicing wrestling, they were doing porn in the ring. Gross stuff. In the ring? In the ring. They're pissing on each other. Oh, it's the plastic down, but still. <laughs> I was using like extreme fetish kind of stuff. Yeah, too. it was terrible porn. It was oh. like uh, 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 drinking piss and stuff like that. And, and, and no faking it, no working it. They, they eat and drink piss. I, I seen the one girl drink piss. I couldn't believe it. So there you have it. Um, very hardcore, very graphic. And I heard things about how that Adolf Hitler... I don't know if this is propaganda or whatever else, but I would I used to hear things when I was studying about the Nazi movement, and they would say that he liked to be urinated on. I don't know if that's true or not, if it was just American propaganda or whatever. But there was another thing uh, right here. Um, the Franklin cover-up by uh, Senator John W. DeCamp. On the back there, he was a Republican senator from Nebraska. And he talked about Boys Town America, a Roman Catholic home out there in Omaha, Nebraska, and how the Republican Party, they were bringing little boys and little girls to uh, their parties and things and molesting children. And there was a, a man, uh, Larry King, who um, was one of the uh, big Republican guys. Um, let's see if I can find his picture here. He would get the... Um, Republican National Convention and things, he'd get that going. There, there he is right there. And these children would come out and they would say, yeah, he'd make us, you know, urinate on them and things, and he'd do weird stuff with urine and excrement and whatever else. Um, Craig Spence, he would set up these parties right there. They killed him for his part in the whole thing. But these children came out, Paul Bonacci, Alicia Owen, and um, Troy Bonner. 
and they came out as teenagers and said, yeah, we were part of this whole thing. And we were taken. There's Paul Bonacci as a child when he was a little boy right there. Um, and here's one of the uh, uh, Nebraska. They had a secret society called Axarvin, which is Nebraska backwards. And these politicians and financiers and everything else would dress up as uh, women. And they would do all kinds of weird, bizarre rituals and things and, and stuff. And you can see right there is the picture. All these guys dressed up as women. Oh, there's some sick individuals out there. And they have the Exarban ball and all this other stuff. You can look it up. Just look it up on YouTube. They have Exarban stuff out there. And, um, you know, my wife is from Iowa, right there at the western part of Iowa, Atlantic, Iowa area. And right across the road is Omaha, well, Nebraska. And then you get into Omaha not far from there. So she was around that whole area and things when this stuff was going on and um so but again stories in there of drinking urine and eating dung and you know i just i read it and i'm just in my mind i'm going no no uh no um but it's in the bible it's going on with these pagan people all right and basically, the Rab Shika there in the context of what we read, he's basically saying, you're going to be doing this stuff because it's going to get very bad for you. Proverbs chapter 24. Let's go there. Oh, that old King James Bible just doesn't relative. Or relevant, excuse me. Not relative, but uh, relevant. Oh, yes, it is. Your understanding is not relevant if you don't believe the King James Bible is up to date. Proverbs chapter 24, verse 19 through 22. Fret not thyself because of evil men, neither be thou envious at the wicked. For there shall be no reward to the evil man, the candle of the wicked shall be put out. My son, fear thou the Lord and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. For their calamity shall rise suddenly, and who knoweth the ruin of them both. God is going to take care of these wicked people. Don't worry about it. Uh, where's Larry King at right now? the pervert from that whole Franklin scandal. And by the way, there was a, um, a video documentary that they came out with, a conspiracy of silence, I think, or something it was called. And there was a whole documentary, a British uh, film company came over here to America, filmed the whole thing and whatever else. And um, it was going to air on American TV. And George Bush Sr. Uh, was one of the men that was named by the children uh, that he was doing all this weird stuff. And George Bush Sr. came out through Clear Channel Broadcasting, I think, is he had stock, owned stock in that company, and he stopped that documentary from coming out, ordered all copies of that film to be burned and destroyed, and I have a copy of it, by the way, a uh, copy I got from Ted Gunderson, former FBI special agent, but that's another thing. He, you know, and it, all his special, Brian Dunninger has special connections. No, I just know how to research. Okay, I, Ted Gunderson used to sell the stuff and you could send a check and whatever to him and he would send you a copy of the things. And I bought a whole bunch of stuff from Ted Gunderson back when he was still alive and I got this Mr. Coffee box with duct tape all over it. And I just thought, well, well it's a smart way to send something like that, sensitive items in it. All kinds of stuff, you know, class, not classified stuff, but, you know, stuff that had been declassified, but, you know, truth, high level truth type of stuff. And, I, you know, it's in my collection. I have his Gunderson Chronicles files down there, four volumes of that. I have the videotape over that way. I've done my research, okay? That's why I'm such a hardcore... People come along, oh, there's errors in the King James Bible. Shut up, okay? Just shut up. You're not going to convince me, all right? I am set in my ways because I've been thoroughly convinced over the years. Oh, well, you should be embarrassed by your King James Bible because it says about them eating dung and drinking piss. How terrible would it, why would God's word, holy word, say such a thing? Because it's the truth. That's why. <laughs> and you watch my videos. I'm going to give you, I'm going to you know, give you reassurance that this is God's book right here. Even the gross parts of it. The stuff that you read and you go, ew. You know, I don't think they do that anymore. Oh, yes, they do. Oh, yes, they do. And uh, old Trumpy boy. All you conservatives out there, Trump, 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 fight, 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 huh? you know, yeah. Well, he's the same guy that's connected to Vince McMahon. And by the way, Sabu, there's another uh, video clip of him. 
where he says that, that uh, Vince McMahon is a fairy. Oh, Vince is a fruitcake himself, and uh, he hires fruitcakes. You know? In other words, a sodomite, and Trump's his buddy. You can trust him, though. Trump was a liberal, liberal New York City boy for all of his life, and then he's you know comes out and he's a conservative Republican now. <laughs> and some of you people out there, I mean, how else can I say it? Dumb fools or whatever. Some of you fine viewers out there are unfortunately deceived or some kind of thing. Wake up, wake up to reality. I know it's hard for some of you. Romans chapter one. My pastor doesn't talk this way. I go to a nice Baptist church and he doesn't say these things. <laughs> uh huh. Romans chapter 1, verse 22 through 28. Tying all the scriptures together. The Bible says here, professing themselves to be wise, they became fools and changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man and to birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore, God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lusts of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. Let me just stop there. Can you imagine laying there and having somebody go number two or number one in your mouth? Christianity stupid. Your little goody two-shoes. Oh, yeah, I like to live it up, man. I like to actually go out there and just have a good time. Uh-huh. You know what it starts out as? It starts out as you do in fornication. And then you can't get your thrill from that anymore, and you go through multiple marriages, and then you start to swing a little bit, you know, and you kind of do just go to special parties and things, and that's not quite enough either. So then you start to kind of look at other guys or something, if you're a guy or women and women together, if you're a woman, and, you know, and you get to the far end of the spectrum and you're eating somebody's waste product and drinking somebody's waste product. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, live it up, man. You only live once. Boy, you lost people sure have a lot over me, don't you? You know, here I am just being clean and I don't listen to rock music anymore like I once did and I don't eat the junk food like I used to do and I don't smoke and I don't drink and I don't chew and I don't do drugs and all this other stuff. Yeah, I'll, I'll take my clean life. Thank you. Okay. You can go on and have your, you know, film each other, you know, doing foul things like that. Good one. You know, and think about this too. Young people out there, you're watching these people for entertainment. Oh, so-and-so is my favorite star. Yeah, they're, they're eating and drinking waste products in their parties. Again, I heard an interview the one time, this man cow Mueller guy, and he said he went to a high-level Hollywood party, and he said all the big names in Hollywood were there, and they were literally doing the same thing, eating, dung, drinking urine. Doing the same thing. It's not some kind of cool thing to go serve Satan and there's this wonderful life out there in front of you. It's a disgusting, filthy, wretched life. That's why Hollywood actors kill themselves all the time. That's why they overdose on drugs. Because of the sick, disgusting things that they have to do in order to become famous. Verse 25. Who changed the truth of God into a lie and worshipped and served the creature more than the creator who is blessed forever. Amen. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affections. Is it vile to eat dung and drink piss? Very much so. God gives them up. You want to go so much against my system, against who I am? Okay, go on out and eat waste products and drink it. For even their women did change the natural use into that which is against nature. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman, burned in their lust one toward another, men with men working that which is unseemly, and receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meat. Do you realize how many diseases you're going to get from eating dung and drinking piss? But they're the cool people. They're the ones that society looks up to. Uh -huh. you can have your fame. Verse 28, 
And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. <laughs> Talk about the understatement of the year. Uh, do those things which are not convenient. Yeah, I, I'm a little hungry for some waste products this morning. You know, yeah, boy, haven't had any of that in a while. <laughs> oh, let's, let's go get a thrill here. You know, hey, hey, baby. How'd you like to come over and go to the bathroom in my on my face? I mean, I guess you, well, you get to, to the point you come out to an area, you know, wilderness area and things like some of the places I live, and you you go in there. It's a public outhouse there, and you you walk in there, and you I guess what do they do? Put their face down in the in the toilet. And, oh, it smells good. <laughs> and I'm supposed to envy you people. You lost people. I don't think so. You say. That's ridiculous. We lost people aren't like that. We're not all like that. There might be some that do that and whatever. Yeah, you're not like that because you're not famous enough yet. You're just a loser. See, if you want to actually get up into the higher levels of fame and fortune and things, then you're going to have to do stuff like that. That's all that you have. That's all that you have to offer. We're entertained by a bunch of waste eaters. Cool, man. James chapter 4. I remember years ago, I was helping my uh, younger sister and, and her husband move. And there's guys from their you know, church, <laughs> church came over and they're talking about, you know, in between helping them move, they're talking about who's getting ahead on American Idol. And, you know, oh, I don't I don't think her performance was very strong. Well, I think this guy here, I think he'll win it this year. And I just thought to myself, you people are idiots. You churchgoers. You're so stupid. Don't you realize where these people are headed if they become famous? Don't you realize what they have to do in order to become famous? Oh, it's too dark for you people out there. You just imagine that they get in there and a talent agent says, oh, you're so talented. Oh, here, let's put you in a movie. And they say, okay, action. And the person does their act and they go, cut, excellent, wonderful. That's not reality. The people in Hollywood, the people in the music industry, the people in the higher levels of that world out there, they have to do sick, disgusting things to become famous. And this is what they become. James chapter 4, beginning in verse 1. From whence come wars and fightings among you? Come they not hence even of your lusts that war in your members? Ye lust and have not, ye kill and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight in war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Ye ask and receive not because ye ask amiss that ye may consume it upon your lusts. Why are Christians many times messed up? Because they're looking out at the world and expecting, they're, they're having these expectations of things that the world has and they think, well, I should have a big house like so-and-so, like a movie star. Oh, I should be like that big musician. Oh, look at the, what they have. Oh, that'd be nice. You're turning your eyes away from common sense and going and looking at waste eaters and drinkers. <clears throat> Verse 4, James 4, verse 4. Ye adulterers and adulteresses, know ye not that the friendship of the world is enmity with God? Whosoever therefore will be a friend of the world is the enemy of God. Period. Well, I was a famous celebrity and I had to do all these wicked, horrible things and everything, but, but I got saved and I'm still a, a celebrity. Can't get away from it? Hawk Hogan? Oh, you know, there's accusations coming out that he was a sodomite and he was going to Vince McMahon's uh, little pervert mansion, fairy, fairyland, and doing all kinds of sick, disgusting things to get famous. But he's a Christian now. He's a Christian now. Technically still there in the world and still doing this stuff. But, you know, he's a Christian. Don't worry. You can be a celebrity Christian. Loved by the world. No, you can't. And you young people out there, this is a very graphic study that I did here. Because sometimes you need to be shocked. Sometimes you need to realize that these celebrities out there, they're monsters. They're gross, disgusting, sexual deviants and perverts. Don't emulate them. Don't put their posters on your wall. Don't look up to these people. They're horrible. 
and the things that they have to go through, they sell their soul to Satan. I'm not joking about it. Oh, the old preachers, they come out and they say all these radical things. It's real. It's all real. The devil comes to Jesus Christ and he says, if you bow down and worship me, I'll give you the kingdoms. That offer is still good. Oh, what do I have to do? Where do I sign up? Go on into the bathroom. Well, I don't see a toilet in here. You're the toilet. I wouldn't have to do that. Uh, they do it all the time. Whatever it takes to succeed. That's the reality. And your King James Bible spells it out perfectly. Do not be deceived by this wicked world. The celebrities out there are disgusting. That's the message of this video. Thank you very much for watching.